TM Leth Recon Squad. Our mission was to enter the Tantalus base, locate the commsat relay, and bring it back online. We found the relay, but there was a problem. Get that door closed now, Private. Close that, Close that gate. Nothing gets in here. Ray didn't make it. Release is a one piece. Willis, take the lead. Oh, this ain't good. What we found was a new kind of evil, and it found us first. What the? This was a human. Please be mindful of docking bay protocol at all times. Wayland Utah, building better world.
Any news from Lethe Hayes? Sorry, sir. We're having a hard time reaching anyone. That storm probably... Damn. Must be one hell of a hurricane to cut us from the whole planet. Chief Administrator, I'm showing a weight discrepancy on the Bentonville's manifest. They just asked for a takeoff accreditation, but half the shipment is still at dock. Half, you say? Well, we just earned a bonus. I'll allow them to take off right away. Protocol dictates... How many times? Company protocol doesn't mean anything out here. What works, works. And we're already behind schedule. Director Price... Isn't here. And if I do recall correctly, Deputy Administrator Hayes, your shift ended half an hour ago. So get the hell off my command deck and let me do my job. Welcome, Administrator Hayes. I thought what I the told hell you. was aboard the Bentonville? What are you talking about? The dock crew and cargo bay four are dead. Dead? That's not funny. Something got loose and killed. <gasps> Power failure. Power failure. Engaging emergency generators. What just happened? system. Why would they do that? They're, they're animals. Sorry, I have no idea. I wish I could help you further. Shit, the Bentonville. I need to stop that ship. Daniel, our planetary quarantine protocols, they're still operational, aren't they? I do believe so, Deputy Administrator. What do I do? Those things have to come from the planet. If even one gets off world. Ugh. No, there's no choice. I can stop them. Deputy Administrator, you're only following the Wayland Yutani containment procedures. The Cerberus protocol was specifically designed for a situation like this. What you're doing is only right. Right. Yes. 
Warning, three ships detected. USS Otago, Venteville, Baldwin. Will be caught in the high orbit interdiction radius. Please confirm command. I am so sorry. Cerberus protocol activated. Purging contaminant vectors. Stand by, stand by. Engaging targets. you? Administrator Hayes, where are you going? We're getting to safety, Daniel. Please, come with us. I'm afraid I can't permit that. Severus protocols are in effect. I know, but we can't stay. It's not safe. The protocols are clear. Nothing in, nothing out. I'm sorry, Administrator Hayes. Would you look at that? Hell, she's taking a pounding. Otago, this is Harper. Do you copy? Hunslet, can you get us aboard? <laughs> no way, Sarge. Between the debris and the decaying orbit? Death trap. Damn it. At least those platforms are leaving us alone. They're designed for planetary quarantine. But Lethe has to remain operational. Low orbit is considered safe, but beyond that, it's... It's a dead zone. Cerberus will shut down everything attempting to go through, in both directions. Cerberus, huh? You seem to know a lot about it. I know everything about it. I'm Pioneer Station. That's my job. Yeah? You know why I decided to turn the Otago into scrap metal? I... I don't know. Systems failure, maybe? You saw the state of the station. Shit! There she goes! Fuck! Follow her down, Hunslet! No problem. Fireball like that's hard to miss.
Welcome home, Harper. You like what I've done with the place? Martinez! It's good to see you, Sarge. Sergeant Martinez, is it... is your communication system working? It's online, but... we're only picking up static. These colonies sure have a relay problem. But who's asking? Meet Deputy Administrator Hayes from Pioneer. Where's Captain Cochran? There's shit going down on that station like you wouldn't believe. Gone. The whole command staff's gone. You're it. Me? Ah, uh, you made sergeant before I did. You've got seniority. Yeah, sure, but these are the captain's orders, as in the deathbed kind. So this shit's all yours, he insisted. If you want me, I'll be in the armory, seeing what survived the crash. Uh, do that. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Hayes, you better come with me. Sergeant, I'm trying something. Hold on. Martinez, give me a hand. More. Everything you've got. I'm launching it in 30 seconds. Hayes? What are you doing? Hayes! Hansa, keep your distance. I have one satellite turned bomb coming in hot. Wait a minute. A bomb? That's our way up, Marines! Move out! Director, where's my daughter? My associates did not let you down, Sergeant. Last time we spoke, Stern was about to find Cassandra. 
With any luck, he's on his way back to Pharos already. Can I talk to her? I'm afraid these damn storms will prevent that. But I promise you, she'll be safe in our headquarters. <sighs> Did you keep your end of the bargain, Sergeant? We got the power core. My chief engineer is working on it. That leaves us with the cryosleep problem. But maybe we could find a vessel with the proper gas mixing chip. Somewhere in Jackson's Landing, perhaps? I checked with Corrigan. They won't be compatible. But the bison we saw at Berkeley's dock just might. The what? An old bison class hauler. The Montero, now docked at Berkeley. Back in 77, rebels used it to flee this rock. And who would blame them? Yet command ordered us to stop the ship. Standard boarding party. In and out. And you reckon we could find the right ship inside? Well, the Montero's there, right? We saw it. So I guess no one's used those cryosleep chambers in a long time. We have to be sure. Even a slight mistake in the gas mix will be fatal. I know, I know. It's a long shot. But it's the only one we can afford to take right now. Sergeant, I have reason to believe that a former Wayland yutani scientist, Joseph Marlowe... Oh, we're familiar with that name. Is that so? Well, he could be the architect of this outbreak. I appreciate it will not accentuate your trust in the company, Sergeant Harper. But my teams have reported that the Montero has been buzzing with activity these past few days. Which is highly unusual for a grounded ship. Someone's trying to escape, just like us. Do you think it could be that cult director? The Darwin era? Yes. I have reason to believe they're already in control of the Montero. All the more reason to go there. I don't want these bastards anywhere near the Otago. This time, we're doing things my way. I'm counting on you, Hayes. Oh, and director? You better have my daughter. Or you'll never set foot on the Otago. Marines! Shit! Where the hell did he come from? Shoot him! Shoot him now! I carry a message for the father. Harper! There you are. Cassandra's father. Oh, I am so honored to be in your presence. Marlo wants you to know that the father of the voice has a place amongst us. Take him to the containment cell. I said take him! Everything I suspected about the device, it's true. Marlo's found a way to suspend the gestation process, and yet... Your prisoner is recognized as part of the Hive. Sure, I suspect he has no direct control over these creatures, now, shut but... up, Doc. <clears throat> All right, friend. You'd better start talking now, because that red button is getting real compelling. I don't talk. I only listen. To what? Her voice. Cassandra's voice. Don't you fucking say her name! Why? Her name is sacred. Her name is the key. You mother of the key? Yes! Cassandra has opened our minds to the hive. Through her voice, we understand their purpose. With her guidance, we feel what they feel. By her teachings, we reach a new stage of evolution. Where is she? Where it all began, of course. With the Maker. With Marlo. I need to talk with Price. Becker, keep an eye on him. Harper, wait. I'm sure she has a situation under Here, of all places, what a blessing. Fascinating, really fascinating. Price, wait, what happened? Where's Cassandra? I'm truly sorry, Maiko. I did everything I could, but we've lost contact with our rescue party and- Where is she, you lying piece of shit? With Marlo? Is he working with you? What? No. Cassandra's alive. Stern was just about to find her. Where? She's at Tantalus. English, for fuck's sake! It's an underground lab. The Wayland yutani installed it long before my time. I didn't know anything about it, I swear. Send me the coordinates. Send them now. We're going there. Maiko, please, you have to believe me. I can explain everything. And you will. People need to see the true face of the company. But right now, Harper needs my help.
lethal security measures. That's weird. Give me a moment to download all the data. Oh my god. Harper, can you see this? Harper? Yes. I can. Ascended consciousness chafes at being trapped in this inelegant, obsolete body. But I need you. Humanity needs you. Let me go. This will help you rest. I know it can't be easy. Sleep now. Yes. Your namesake was forever ignored, but you? I will always heed your warnings. Together, we will guide the faithful to a glorious future. The cradle is prepared. Good, good, take her to the compound, but be gentle with her. She is our bridge to a better humanity. Micah, tell me you've got a location for this compound. That was Cassandra, wasn't it? Yes. Where did they take her? I'm looking. But someone did a thorough job of erasing some of these files. I'm uploading what's left to the Otago's mainframe. Got technical specs for this cradle, a list of test subjects. Otherwise, nothing. Why blow up your own laboratory? Where's my daughter? Oh, I had nothing to do with the laboratory's destruction. I'm afraid you'll have to ask Director Price. What the hell are you talking about? Your mission was to secure the data in Project Cassandra. As she couldn't access it herself, she sent your team. Then yours. We all became expendable the moment your precious Otago received the data she wanted. That fucking woman. And my daughter? Is she expendable too? Not to me. Her gift makes all of this possible. Where is she? I can't tell you. Harper! He's a fucking son! Of course. Marlow learned early that Price only pretended to share his vision. She was only interested in securing his research for the company. He couldn't trust anyone other than himself, so he surrounded himself with precisely that. Where is Cassandra? I can't tell you what I don't know. Like I said, Marlow has trust issues. But I can tell you one thing. That pain you experience whenever you make contact with the Hive, it is nothing to what your daughter experiences. She is in constant action. Stand down! What the fuck have you done? We needed him! Like he said, he didn't know anything. Well, he sure as hell can't tell us anything now. Hansa, we're done here. Bring them back to the barn. Copy that. You got room for one more? 
No way in hell I'm going back to Fire Spire. I'll be black bag for sure. Okay, but you're gonna earn your keep. Suits me just fine. But there's one thing I can't figure out. How does it help Price if the files she wants are on the Altago? Hayes, do you copy? Hayes, can you hear me? Harper, you all right? Harper! Come on, come on. Got it. A pity. There's no other way. Time for me to leave. the external comms. I don't know. The ship, she's acting strange. Our bulkheads are wide open. We're inviting all the creatures aboard. Get me back online, Chief. We got Harper's squad in the field. Working on it, but I could use another pair of hands. Defensive perimeter offline. Defensive perimeter offline. Someone's screwing with us. Haze to all hands. Our plasma turrets just shut down. Martinez, I want our response teams to get those turrets back online. Already on it. Deploying now. Cargan, I'm coming to you. We need external comms back. Harper just lost it. Becker! Doc! I don't have time for this. No way. I'm not leaving any wounded troops behind. You don't understand there's something! <gasps> What's wrong? Booker! Get out of there! No! <laughs>
That's far uh, enough, Hayes. Why? Why did you do it? I owe an immeasurable amount of money to the company. Price needed the data and the ship. Turns out I could provide her with both and erase my debt. Finally. What is so funny? Sit. Sit. What the hell happened here? Becker, our xenobiologist. He was in debt with the company. The price. I think she placed him here. He set the damn creature loose so she could steal the Otago. I handled it. That woman's a weasel. Should have quit long ago. Yes? Well, who's to say you've quit now? Who's to say you're not another spy? Ease down, Administrator. I don't feel like easing down. Look, Price tried to double-cross me, too. I'll do anything for a rematch. You have my word. The word of a Wayland yutani employee. And a professional killer at that. Yeah, what's the difference with that sergeant of yours? Do not bring Harper into this. I'm sorry. How's he doing? Not great. I have to check with Book... I mean, in the med bay. You know what? Go see him. But remember, you want to bring Price down, I can help you get into Pharaoh's Spire. It's got to be worth a try. Price is our only link to Cassandra, to the real Marlowe. But if you try anything, you go down with her. I'll keep that in mind, ma'am. How's he doing? We managed to stabilize him. But without Bookard, I'm not sure for how long. Maybe we should just put him in cryosleep already and get the hell out of here. Not until I get Cassandra from Marlowe. Harper needs his daughter. Do you really think she's out there? Is she even alive? She is. I'll find her. Stern offered his... help. That mercenary? Can we trust him? Seems that Price knows where Cassandra is. And I don't see how we could get into Pharaoh's Spire without him. Not much of a choice, huh? <laughs> I hate to say it, but you're getting better at this. Corrigan told me how you handled the critter. <sighs> Ballsy move. I did what I had to do. Administrator Hayes? Are you up to going after Price? What if I'm not? Don't worry. I'll be in the APC, keeping an eye on Stern. All right, then let's do this. For Harper. Yes. For Harper. I can't get any closer without being shredded by the Spire's anti-air turrets. This is as far as I go. Copy that. Marines, we have to make final approach through the street. Lots of nooks and crannies. So keep your eyes open for hostiles. Together we can fix this. Together? After all these deaths? If memory serves me right, you largely contributed to these casualties, Maiko. You activated the Cerberus Protocol, correct? I did. I had to. Right! You did it because you understand. You understand the companies and the general interest are one and the same. Marla was right. Well before he went crazy, that is. The things he found in that mine. What they could mean for pharmaceutics, space travel, security. The applications are virtually limitless. I wouldn't want any of that. Then think about the revenues these creatures represent. Imagine. Space stations a hundred times bigger and safer than Pioneer. 
So in the end, that's what this is about? Money? Numbers? How could you be such a machine? Really? Oh, not you, Maiko. Spare me the whistleblower lecture, will you? Who do you think I am? A synth? <laughs> Excuse me? A synth. I've pretty much built this world. You really think a synth would have handled half of what I've done on Leafy? It all makes sense now. What? Maiko, listen. Your assessments, your ploys, two of your teams left for dead, your extensive knowledge of the station, of the atmospheric processors. I'm the damn director of that rock. Don't you get it? And yet, you couldn't stop that protocol. Would you listen to me? Everything out there, it's mine. I could have saved these people. But you didn't. So much power, and you did nothing with it, except protecting the assets of this fucking company. We could have talked. Harper, he would have welcomed you on board, but you didn't think of that, did you? You didn't think of your own life? Not a single time, right? Do you think a human would do that? Maiko, these assets? Marlowe's research? I don't have it anymore. It's all uploaded somewhere on the Otago. Burn it! Print it! Sell it to Siegson or the UPP for all I care. But take me with you. Please. Cassandra, where is she? Is she even alive? Do you have that stored somewhere in that carbon processor of yours? Stop it! I am not a synth. <sighs> Look, she's probably with all their prisoners. In their city, below Old Divai. A city? Marlowe's lair. Ancient and alien. God, he was so obsessed with that place. And then he became obsessed with her. He wouldn't keep Cassandra anywhere else. Now please, take me with you! No. Maiko! Look at me! I'm not a synth! I doubt you're human either. Maiko? Listen to me! I'm not a fucking synth! I am not a synth! I'm not a synth! Defenses are set, Hayes. We're holding for now. No. Damn, he's not doing any better, is he? No. His vital signs are falling fast and hard. If we get him away from these creatures, he might recover. Maybe. Cassandra. We'll get her back, Jonas. I promise. Shield operational. Cryosleep chambers ready. The moment of truth has arrived, Hayes. Are we going through those platforms or what? No. Not yet. We need to hold the line. Are you crazy? Those creatures are everywhere. Cerberus is about to go nuclear According and to Price, Marlowe took control of an ancient city. I'm not sure of its exact nature. There could be dozens of prisoners there. I won't abandon them. Cassandra's alive, for sure. we still got time before Cerberus launches. It'll be tight, but we can do it. Hayes, are you okay risking everyone on this boat? Yes, because that's the job. We save everyone we can. Everyone. You and me, we were part of this. We kept our heads down and did our jobs and let all this happen. We have a responsibility to those people, because no one else at Wayland yutani ever saw them as more than numbers on a balance sheet. Well, if you put it like that, I guess I'm in. Good, because I need you on the APC.
Welcome to my tomb. Who the fuck are you? His legacy. This is gigantic. This whole planet's a freak show. So, this used to live in that city? Probably. See its chest? This was a host for one of those creatures. How long has this thing been here? This ain't the time to be playing archaeologist. Come on, there's a passage over here. Can you hear me? Who... who are you? I'm a friend of your father's. Dad! He's here. No. <laughs> it's making up. Guys, I have a bad feeling about this. We need to hurry. <laughs> Cassandra. Let's get the hell out of here before these nukes detonate!
of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off.
Ripley. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I facility. know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. This is the Torrin. Say again. The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Depressurizing. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just shout on me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Thank <laughs> you. 
stay still. Okay. Okay. Now, turn around. Come on! I'm Ripley. Where'd you come from? Ripley! Off station. A ship. There's no ships here! There are now. Well, <laughs> that's good news. Because things are not so good here. Something blue just now. Rocked this whole place. I saw it. But lady, that's the least of our problems. Yeah? Yeah. Something's on this station. Something you wouldn't believe. Like what? A killer. You get it? Okay. Okay. What's your name? Axel. I was boarding with two colleagues. EVA. We got separated by the blast. Can you help me find them? Why? Because you seem to know your way around. No, I mean, why? What's in it for me? A place on the ship. How do I know I can trust you? I need to find comms. I need to contact my ship. This is your lucky day. Come on! You killed that guy! Because he was going to kill me, you saved my life. This is about survival. Do you understand? I hear something. I hear something. Axel? Fuck have I got on me? Samuels! You're alive! It's Ripley! Ripley! Taylor, it's Ripley. We were getting worried. We I thought... made it! Where are you? Uh, we're at a transit station now. It's right by medical. Okay. Samuels, listen to me. It's not safe here. Siegson's got this place locked tight. Their goddamn androids are killing people. That's impossible. It's contrary to primary synthetic programming. I've seen it, Samuels. I guess Siegson's got a different idea about synthetics. And there's something else here. A creature. It's big and it's lethal. Ripley, slow down. A creature? It's a life form. A, an unknown type. Some kind of alien organism. It's extremely dangerous. You and Taylor Ripley, need to make... Taylor is hurt. She was injured by debris during the crossing. How bad? I can't move her. I need medical supplies. We need to treat and pack the And injury. the Torrens? The radio is broken. I can't contact Verlaine. We're on our own. Shit! Okay. I'll come to you. Keep your eyes open. I'll send a transit car to you. Mrs. Lingard, seeing your medical officer at Sevastopol Station. I want to... I have been placed under duress with regards to the compromise patient zero. And Ransom, Seekson's head of operations, he... He made certain threats for my career and my certification. I want that on record. God, God. That woman needed help. I didn't know what type of parasite she had encountered, but it had planted something inside her. I am so sorry. I had no way of knowing what would happen. I sent you a clear directive not to land on station. I told you we didn't hear your message. We understood you would be... Hey. Identify yourself. Ripley. From the Torrens. Relax, kid. What the hell is going on here, Marshal? Where's the security forces? You're looking at them. I've seen the creature. What is it? I don't know. Something brought here by Marlow, the captain of the Anisadora. The ship that found the flight recorder. 
Is there anywhere safe left on this station? That creature's running around, and the Sikhs and synthetics are less than friendly. Goddamn androids. Ripley? Taylor needs attention. Medical's a no-go. We can't take her there. We have a basic life support unit back at HQ. Then let's go! report personal message this is for my daughter hi Amanda I'm recording this for you my sweetheart and I hope you get to hear it one day you see I um I got into trouble um my ship there was an accident sweetheart and um we found an alien creature. It was very dangerous. And the only way we could stop it was to destroy the ship. Uh, I'm okay. I'm stuck on this lifeboat, long way out. But we had to destroy the ship. We had to destroy the Nostromo. We just couldn't risk bringing that thing home with us. I needed to protect you. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. I'm sure I'll see you very soon. I love you, sweetheart.
Think hard. Make sure you don't leave anything out. I've told you everything I know. Are you completely sure? I don't know where the message is. Get the bag off the other one. How are your faculties, Corporal? I asked you a question. I heard you. Give him another. That would be ill-advised, sir. He can take it. Corporal Dwayne Hicks. TQ40482152. One five E nine. That's all you get. We both know that's not true. I want to talk to you about the events that led us to where we are now. What the hell did you give me? Incentive. You killed everyone on that planet. Unfortunately, by the time we had received Burke's transmission and arrived at LV four twenty six, the atmospheric processor had already gone critical. All of the xenomorphic specimens were destroyed. Fortunately, the crashed alien ship and her precious cargo were left unscathed by the explosion. When we discovered that Lieutenant Ripley, the child, and yourself had escaped LV-426 on board the Sulaco... Her name was Newt. It was Rebecca, actually. We diverted the research transport vessel Legato and its cargo outbound from LV-426 to intercept the Sulaco and provide assistance. Tie up your loose ends. It's all relative. Yeah? How'd that turn out? I hear it didn't go so well. rate has dropped way below a critical threshold. I don't think my safety's a top priority. The loss of the Legato was unfortunate. So many specimens. There were families aboard that ship. I said it was unfortunate. It's only unfortunate that you lost your specimens. On the contrary, lucky for you, some managed to escape. Didn't they? Is this it? It looks like the right sequence. Run the full cycle. We don't want him to go into shock. I think this is it. Anything yet? That's it. He's coming too. Listen up! Uh, Corporal! Corporal Hicks! We got you. Just a few more seconds for the cycle to finish. No! Hang on, Corporal! Whoa! I got you. Check the chamber. Guys, we got company! Stasis interrupted. 
fire and cryogenic compartment. Repeat, fire in cryogenic compartment. Launch will commence in T minus 20 seconds. No! No! Nothing else can be done here. Now you can bet they're sending something more than these piss ants to find out what just went down. Corporal, we need to go. Ripley. Corporal, I know you've got a lot to come to grips with right now. But where is the rest of your crew? You're looking at it. And yeah, you could say that. Last thing I remember is going into hypersleep after losing my entire unit and escaping a planet overrun with monsters straight out of your worst nightmares. Now I wake up to your smiling face. Armed men trying to kill me in one of those things. Wrapped around her face. Look, I'm sorry for your loss. I really am. But we're tethered to a boat crawling with those things as part of some corporate experiment gone bad. And they don't look to be wanting any outside eyes peering in. They're heavily armed and don't seem to have any issue killing anyone in their way. If we don't get word out, they're gonna bury this thing and all of us with it. What's your name? Samwell. Samwell Stone. Well, Stone... We're gonna need stronger firepower than this. There's a security checkpoint on the next deck. We can gear up there. Follow me. Stone! They're gone! Elizabeth? Both of them. I was too late. One of those monsters got to her. And then these corporate bastards killed them both! You can still make it out, Lisbeth. Head for- Clear. Get the message out. I don't have much time left. God damn it, they're gonna pay. They're all gonna pay. Get clear. Lisbeth, what are you gonna do? I'm blowing up the ship. Lisbeth! Lisbeth, do you read? Lisbeth! What the hell's going on? It's Lisbeth. She's planning on blowing up the Legato. Can she pull that off? She's resourceful. And she sounds pretty damn driven. If she blows that ship while we're still tethered, she'll end up taking us down with her. Meet me on the starboard weapon deck. I've got an idea. Well, looks like a two-day haul before we hit Furina. I grabbed this deck of cards from the crew quarters. Outstanding. Ripley! What's this going to achieve? Think of all we could learn from it. You must let me have it. It's a magnificent specimen.
What a selfish act. Selfish? Throwing away all that potential. There was so much we could have learned. She sacrificed herself to put an end to this. It's only a matter of time before someone comes looking. Corporal, do not misunderstand. As far as anyone knows, the Sulaco exploded over Fury 161 and all hands were lost. Tragic. Officially, the explosion of the atmospheric processor on LV-426 laid waste to everything there. I have all the time in the world, Corporal. No one is coming because you are expendable. As for these colonists you seem to be so concerned about, dregs of humanity worthless trash, I'm providing them with the opportunity for their lives to have meaning. Lieutenant Ripley's death, a selfish act. The destruction of the Legato in the hands of some angry little girl. Inconvenient. But let us be frank, Corporal, and please believe me when I say this. There is nothing sacred here. Every resource I have is expendable when it comes to ensuring the further study and development Drop the weapon. of this organism. Oops. Untie the Corporal. Don't do this, Doctor. Sorry, sir. I can't let this go any further. What are you talking about? You do see the hypocrisy in this coming from a man who's built his career creating weapons. Granted, and I've created some real works of art. But you, my friend, you are really pushing the bounds of sanity here. I'm not gonna take part in torturing families. Corporal, let's move. This is futile. There's no getting out of this alive. No one is coming. I guess we'll have to see what can be done about that. Lock me out. Can you get past security? Please. Stress call from LV-426. Get your gear, we're heading out. Rise and shine, Marines. This isn't a drill, and you aren't in Kansas anymore. On your feet, Marines. For any new recruits, I'm Captain Cruz, and you are my crew on the USS Sephora. We responded to a distress call sent out 17 weeks ago from the USS Sulaco. Rhino 23 went in first and encountered heavy resistance. 
You are the last of the battalion to get popped out of cryo. So I don't want to hear any bitching because we let you lugheads sleep in late. Get combat ready, and I'll see you in the hangar in 20 mics. Name and rank? Corporal Christopher Winter, 118th Battalion aboard the USS Sephora. Corporal Winter, I'm sending in Rhino 2 1 to reinforce 2 3. How are you feeling, kid? I'm feeling good, Captain. But I'm worried about 2 3. That's good, because I'm sending you in to catch up with Rhino 2 1. We're trying to get the Sulaco flight recorder so we can see who caused this. Sir, what happened in there? We shit the bed. Attention, chicks and dicks of the USS Sephora! As of right this second, Rhino 2-1 and Rhino 2-3 are fighting to get a hold of the situation we're in. We don't leave Marines behind. Over the next two hours, we're gonna send a series of dropships over to aid with Kazavak on the USS Sulaco. Sir, the Sulaco was reported last seen over Fury 161. How is it back over this planet? Lieutenant Reed, thanks for the interruption. We don't know how that boat got back here. Right now, we're worried about what's killing our Marines in there. This is a liquid situation. Information to follow as it comes online. Ready up. Good hunting, Marines. Oorah to Ash! Oorah! Listen up. What I need right now is information. No heroics, no bullshit. I need you to be my eyes in there. Report back anything you see so I know what I'm up against. Roger that. Tell Rhino 2-1 I'm en route to their location. Follow the charges! And it's hot. We're in the pipe. Five by fuck! Good to see you all in one piece, O'Neill. Good to see you. You wanted to leave him out here to die. Bo, what are you talking about? We disagreed. She tried to pull rank and leave you for dead. Look, everyone calm down. I was scared. I'm just a pilot, but as lieutenant, I have to make a call. We don't leave Marines behind. That supersedes rank. Hey! Can we not do this out here? Bella, we cannot risk the lives of multiple Marines to save one. We understand what you're going through, but it's hard to trust someone who won't be alive in a few hours. Fuck did you just say to me? You know, I was gonna save this last bullet for myself. Whoa! It's fine! It's fine! We're fine! Just put it down, Bella! Bella, put it down. You just pointed a gun at a superior officer. Last I checked, your orders were to put one in your skull shit the time. Stop it! Just let's get back to operations, all right? God damn it, you two! Sulaco Actual, this is Winter. We've recovered a few Marines after getting the comm tower up. On our way back to you, over. We're falling apart. I understand that our circumstances are exceptional. I lost 300 of my people in the last days, so take me at my word when I tell you I'm feeling this too. Reed, Bella, Bury this shit and move on. Permission to- Shut up. You made the right call and you know it. And we're done talking about it. You two, front and center. So these two lunkheads come to me to authorize what amounts to a suicide mission into the heart of the way you facility to try and extract that thing from your chest. We're spread thin as it is. Too many Marines unaccounted for. Sir, if you'll just listen to what- But I'm authorizing it. On one condition. Sir? There's a manifest of all personnel in the facility. 
Send that back first. Then go get that thing out of Bella. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. There's a stable of Hadley's surface crawlers. Take one and make sure you come back alive. All of you. Permission to accompany them on the mission, sir. Denied. I want to go. And I want my pilot to stay alive and get a hundred Marines back off this planet. This is not a conversation we're having. Look, you don't owe us nothing. Just get everyone else out of here so we can take down Wayu. Just stay out of the way. Why'd you stop? I can't drive any further on this terrain. The dust alone has gunked up the cylinder so bad we're barely moving. We walk. You make a fucking sound, and your brains are what they find in the garbage tomorrow. Not if you understand, asshole. Bell, lie down on the table. She had a... She had one of those face huggers. It left a baby one in her chest. How, how do you get it out? You, you... You... You can't. Wrong answer! Please, 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 please! Trust me. We've tried to extract the gestated life form. O'Neill, just let him speak. It's okay. The... The embryo will extract fluid and nutrients from the host to construct a placenta, but it, it, it's not like a human's. The placenta is like a weed rooting itself into every organ in the chest cavity. Look, even if you could surgically remove the embryo, the placenta is its like a cancer. Your organs will begin shutting down one by one, and then you just, you just die. Winner, knock him out. Oh, now. I can't. Is it hot in here? Hey. Hey, Mel. Hey, Nugget. It's okay. Just... Close your eyes. You get that Marine? You promised... Get everyone off the planet. Oorah to Ashes, Mel. Oorah to... our agreement. Something's wrong. They look pissed as shit at you. Do they have a reason to be? Yep. Who is he? Son, be careful about what you do next. Did you know about the Manifest? You were gonna go either way. Did you know that Bella was gonna die, no matter what? <sighs> yes. And you knew it too. Son, there wasn't a force in hell that was gonna stop you guys from going in and trying anyway. Put it down. Lower it. We just risked our lives to get this guy out of the way you facility. Let's ignore the lion for a second. Why the hell was this Marine so important to you? What happened on the Sulaco? Don't lie to me. Don't you dare lie to me! Get that bag off that soldier now. Who the fuck is that? Oh, great. Back here. I'm Corporal Hicks from the USS Sulaco. I've been held under duress for months by Waylon Yutani. He wanted information. Bishop? Are you alive? Different Bishop. How the hell are you alive, Hicks? 
Your file was closed KIA 14 weeks ago. We're here because we responded to your distress call. We had. What information did you give them, Corporal? Stuff they're gonna figure out anyway. Enough to keep me alive without saying much. Captain, who did we bring back? We found out about Hicks when it was already too goddamn late. I didn't think there was a snowball's chance in fuck any of you were coming back alive. I'm sorry about Bella. You have no idea. They had a prisoner in that facility for weeks. Wei Yu has an FTL ship on the planet. Now I got a duty to the other hundred Marines to get them off this rock. Then you better hurry, sir. Last FTL leaves soon and it ain't coming back. You know the FTL schedules? I know a lot more than that. Sir, we have two squads of Marines inbound, coming in hot. What? There's more than a hundred Xenos heading right for Hadley's Hope. In about 30 seconds, that horizon is gonna turn black as the most dangerous killing machines in the universe rise up over it. I can tell you ain't the type of lad that fancies being important or valuable, but you don't get to decide that. You and my pilot are the most important Marines we have, and right now, get your ass out of here. Go! Looks like you'll fit right in, you insubordinate son of a bitch. You didn't specify which direction to drive the APC, sir. So, how are you alive if you don't mind too much my asking? What happened on Fury 161? Guess we're skipping the softball questions. We left LV-426 and sent out a distress call. A call you all responded to. Near Fury, the ship went into alert, and I was pulled out of cryo as the ranking and only Marine. The ship was on alert because Michael Whalen's PMCs illegally boarded the ship. The four cryopods ejected safely, but I obviously wasn't in mine. So, whose body was in your cryotube? That's a longer story. I care about one thing, taking these guys down. That's all I got left, guys. Let's get to it. Floor is yours, sir. We're all Colonial Marines here. I wake up in the morning thanking baby Jesus for every day I'm in the Corps. So I'm gonna be good goddamned if I let Wayland yutani take that away from me. Now we don't have an FTL ship to get all of us back off planet. But they do. And how long we got before the last boat comes in? Comes in tonight. They're packing up for good. We take this ship or we don't leave. It's the only chance we're gonna get. I have 63 active United States Colonial Marines, and we're gonna take that facility. And then we're gonna take that ship. And we're gonna get everything we can to take this company and Michael Whalen down for all the shit they've put us through and taken from us. Hoorah to ashes, O'Neill. Hoorah, Captain. For the Marines we lost, guys! Once in the facility, I will supply geographical intel to all ground forces. Eyes up and identify all ground or air targets. Roger that, Raider! We move in quick and put down targets as fast as you can pull! Understood, Winter. Good hunting and save some for me. 6-5 out. This is Sulaco Actual. All ground units prepare for deployment. Here we go. How the hell do you plan on getting into that ship? I haven't figured that out yet! Right now would probably be a pretty fucking good time! I know! Bishop, what if I blow the doors? Likely it will close up inside to prevent a hull breach. What? That's the plan? We got no other options. We need to be inside before we breach Atmo. Breathe! Do it! Weapons hot! Two away! Brace for impact! Good hunting. 
Clamps disabled. Engine spooling. Godspeed, Captain. This bitch can fly. Actual act. Did any of that really just happen? Show off. On the other side of this door is Michael Whalen. The reason we're all here. We lost the Sulaco flight recorder. Way you destroyed everything at the facility. We need him alive, and we need everything he knows. Agreed? O'Neill, I need you on this one, man. We can get these guys. Now wait, 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 before you shoot me, wait, just wait! Do you even know? Do you even know what you take away? Please, please, please don't do this. I'm just the face that runs the company. O'Neill, think about what you're doing. I'm done thinking. We got him, man. Just put the gun down. I can't do that. Someone has to pay for this. For crews. For keys. For all the ones we lost. For her. Don't make me say her name. If anyone says her name, I swear to God, I will blow his head the fuck off! Please don't Do shoot. not speak to me, you sack of shit! Can I speak with you then? Bishop, get the hell out of the way, man! No. I'm not playing around, Bishop. If you don't move, I will shoot right through you. No, you won't, because Bella wouldn't want you. I said don't say her name! Bella. O'Neill, shoot him. Hicks, what? What the hell, man? O'Neill, you're supposed to shoot him. This is how it's supposed to happen. Stand down, Corporal! Don't do it, O'Neill. Oh, thank you for not killing me. Oh, my God. I just shot your guy. We needed him! Look again. That wasn't the real Waylon? Negative, Corporal. What? How did you know that wasn't the real Whalen? You said we need to find out what he knows? Thirteen weeks and four days they had me. Spent hours a day in a room, torture after torture. Some days I could barely take it. But when there's only two of you in the room, you notice when the other guy ain't breathing. Why not keep him alive? Because he would kill every one of you the first chance he got. That's its function. Bishop? I can download any data he has. This is a special model. We might get lucky. What do you need, Bishop? Clear a space and find a scalpel. Is this... dangerous? There are tubes in my brain. Dumb question. Incredibly sorry. You ready, Bishop? It's already downloading. Please give me a moment, Winter. Is... is this gonna work? It'll work. How do you know? You lost a girl too, right? Yeah. Me too. It has to work. Bishop, are you okay? Please tell me we got something. Anything. We really need a win here, man. We got everything. 